back to tonight. And uh, young heavyweight, a few rungs down, but aiming to go all the way in the footsteps of the likes of Tyson Fury, Nathan Gorman. And he's up against a man who has been in, basically, with absolutely everybody. Kingpin Kevin Johnson, the ultimate gatekeeper, the veteran who took Daniel Dubois the distance in this very ring not long ago. So what can Nathan do tonight? What kind of statement can he make to Thomas Triber? Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for 10 rounds, and it is a international heavyweight contest. Brought to you by Frank Horan on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. When the bell rings, our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Ian John Lewis. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing blue with white and weighed in at 18 stone, 13 pounds. Coming to us from Asbury Park, New Jersey, USA. He brings a professional record consisting of 34 wins, 12 defeats, one draw, with 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former world title challenger, Kevin Kingpin Johnson. And his opponent across the ring, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing white with black and weighed in at 18 stone, one pound. Hailing from Nantwich, Cheshire, England. He is undefeated with 15 wins. 11 of his 15 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current WBC International Silver Heavyweight Champion, Nathan Gorman. And the referee. I obey my command at all times. You both on the rules, watch them heads, and keep the punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourselves at all times. Show against. Well, the comparative study between Nathan Gorman and Daniel Dubois goes on. Johnson took Dubois all the way, a 10 rounder. For the first round. What can Nathan Gorman do now? Well, let's hope he has the same sort of result that, that Dubois had against the last guy because Johnson can stink the place out when he wants to, which is quite often, let's be honest. He did against Dubois, he was very negative and he's, and he, you know, he's clever because he's very hard to kick clean. He rides the shot with that little shoulder roll. Been in with everybody, Kevin Johnson, 39 years old now, but only two people have ever stopped him. One of them being Anthony Joshua in a couple of rounds. Went the distance with Vladimir Klitschko back in 2009 when he challenged for the world title and also three years later went the distance with Tyson Fury. And since that defeat, as that draw, uh, beg your pardon, the defeat, the distance defeat against Dubois, he's had a couple of wins, albeit against somebody who uh, could charitably be described as a serial loser and somewhat roly-poly. What he has in his favour here, he doesn't have the natural power, of course, as, as, as we all know, of Dubois, but he's, he's, he's more agile, I think, even though and I think he has more natural boxing skills and, and, and faster hands and feet, so that, of course, done some problems. Vitaly Klitschko, of course, who fought Kevin Johnson. Did I get my Vitalis and Vladimirs mixed up? I apologise. Kevin Johnson taking this fight at very, very short notice. Hello. Nathan Gorman supposedly was supposed to be fighting 
Fabio Maldonado, a puncher from Brazil, Christopher Lovejoy, both of them fell through, and so Johnson it is. Yeah, and, and it's hard, you know, back in yesterday, no one had any idea who they were fighting, you know, to be honest, you didn't, you didn't know what your opponent was like, but nowadays they have the luxury of knowing, so it's, it is frustrating when you don't get to see a change of opponents all the time, it can mess a little bit with, with you psychologically, and also how you train for a fighter. British Boxing Board of Control have called for Daniel Dubois to fight Joe Joyce for the British title. Whether or not that will happen, we remain to see. It's a good fight. It really certainly, is. so far as Daniel Dubois and Frank Warren, that side of the equation, they certainly want it. And I saw, I'm pretty sure Joe Joyce will want it as well, because he's on a right roll right now. He really good, is. Good fight if it can be made. So, closing seconds of the opening round. And Gorman just about doing enough. This is one of Britain's oldest roads. Over the centuries, it's seen a lot of changes. And here comes another. Electric vehicles. That's why BP is introducing a network of fast charging points. And for cars that aren't electric, we're developing advanced fuels to help them run more efficiently. So whatever you drive, we've got you covered. At BP, we see possibilities everywhere to help the world keep moving hopefully, and keep advancing. Welcome back to Leicester. Nathan Gorman with Ricky Hatton in the corner. And here's some of the highlights, such as they were. A clubbing right hand there from Johnson. And he threw a couple of jabs as well, which is more than what I can remember doing the last time he was over here. But yeah, it's just seen you know, the better quality of work there from Gorman. But he just tucks that chin into that big, big shoulder he has there, Johnson. And he just takes the sting of almost every shot that you throw. And he must have an extremely hard head because he, everything's taken on top of the head. And he takes it all just fine. He was actually staying in our hotel, the night he fought Daniel Dubois. And chatting to him afterwards, he looked like he'd just been round the block yeah. for a walk. He didn't look as though he'd had a fight. I've got to say, John, your hotel, because the rest of us have to drive straight home. But it's nice to know you'll look after. And if anybody <laughs> believes that... All of us. It's about trying to square. You've got to try and square Johnson up. And you, know, you would say usually they just jab to that left, that left shoulder and try and square him up there for the right hand. But I think he turns so much to the side that it's quite difficult to do. And also you do that, and he fires back with the right hand himself. You, you do need to somehow get on the, on the old, on the inside of him. Ricky Hatton and Mike Jackson were both hoping that. Nathan Gorman would show a little bit, a bit more power, picking his punches a bit more than he has done in some of his other contests. Oh, this is a fight, Billy. Really. Unless, unless he gets to stop it, which is very, you know, he goes as you've already suggest, explained, he'll, he'll go him to do that. This is a fight where he's on a hide into nothing. He's meant to win, but to look good against Johnson is extremely difficult. We've seen it in the past. But you know, when you can't get no one else to turn up, you know, you've got to sometimes call on the usual suspects. And, Johnson will turn up at the drop of a hat, of course. His aspirations to be a promoter once he's finished with fighting, Kevin Johnson. <laughs> Play the piano as well, you know. Yes, I've seen. See again, because he gets that, because his shoulders are so big, and he just do that shoulder roll really well. You've got to throw. You're trying to throw over the over the shoulder, but he sees it, and he just tucks him a little bit tighter. Takes the sting out of your shot. He's done a couple of good left hooks mm -hmm. here. Do, um, I was going to say Dubois, Gorman, and it'll be the hand speed of Gorman that, that you know, if he gets any breakthrough, it'll be that that does it for him. This needs to keep Johnson. Away from fancying the fancying the job. Yeah, good body shot there from Johnson. Yeah. He can punch, can't he? Johnson trying to walk him down. Just 
maybe try and feint the jab, then come up. No, he's still on the left hook. It's the right, it's the right punch for him. He can just feint with the jab and then, then let it go. Ladbrook sponsors boxing on BT Sport. We all need to know how travel might be affected by the UK leaving the EU. Find guidance and up-to-date information at gov.uk slash EU exit. Ladbrook sponsors boxing on BT Sport. Nathan Goldman being told by Ricky Hatton, don't underestimate this man's left jab. And he has speared him with two or three. Third round, ten rounder. Nathan Gorman undefeated in 15 fights so far against the grizzled veteran Kevin Johnson. He's happy to give you the jab. He blocks the left hook with the right hand, Johnson. And the only right and the only right hand you can really catch him in is a good left hook there from Gorman. The only right hand you can really catch him in is a slashing shot over the top, which doesn't really carry much power. So you know, you've got to try and square him up for that straight right hand and punch right through the get through the target. The left hook often looks Gorman's best shot. Maybe sometimes just looks for that punch a wee bit too much maybe he, well he does and I, I know I understand that but that's all that's, that's all that's all that's on offer for him John I mean, to be honest so you're gonna throw it aren't you just change the tempo we whip it in in a different angle on it sometimes double up with it and I would think that's the jab got an email this morning from Kevin Johnson's conditioner who said he's, he's in better shape than he was against Gabriel Dubois. Kevin Johnson's conditioner said, have you seen Kevin? Well, he's thrown more punches than in he the has, three rounds so far than he did in ten against you know, Dubois. I'm mocking him, but he has, yeah. That's because Dubois has more weight on his shots and he probably, and he probably puts him in, you know, he puts him in that mode where he just goes, I'm going to just stay on the ropes now, tuck up tight and close up shop. And you know what, it might not be a bad thing to encourage him to throw shots. You know, you've got to be careful, but, you know, I mean, no, there's gaps. Of, when someone tries to throw back, the gaps appear. And Gorman does have the hand speed to, you know, capitalise on that. Right hand, well, dis well disguised. Well, oh, that's a nice straight right hand. Tyson Fury sitting watching on on the far side of the ring on the uh, front row. Of course, he sparred many, uh, many a round with Nathan Gorman. Yeah, Ethan Kay thinking by the time these guys get to my level, I'll be sat on the peak somewhere. Well, Nathan Gorman rather than Kevin Johnson, I suspect. <laughs> oh, nice. Free bet. What do you reckon? No brainer, mate. No brainer, mate. Nobody no brainers the hunch. Free bet time. Brain cells, go! Bookings. 3.2 match average. I like it. Both teams to score. 78% chance. Now we're talking. Corners. 10.5 per game. No team beginning with C has ever beaten. I'll take it from here. Look and learn. Heed your hunch with Betway's free bet club. Put £25 on multiples for £10 in weekly free bets. Bum, 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 bum. Bamboozling him. Not a tap tap, bamboozling him. And then drop one in downstairs. Sometimes don't just drop the sit. Don't, 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 don't just sit down on the single, on the one single. Sometimes when you've got bum, 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 that's a tap tap. Sit down, 
So there is Tyson Fury alongside his father, John. And Nathan Gorman so far, three out of three. Yeah, quite, and quite predictably so, let's be honest. That's better there from Gorman, she's just a little faint. If you lose something from Tyson Fury, how well did he use that double feint? Oh, yeah, against absolutely. Wilder. And really threw Wilder from Monty any sort of attack. That front foot, a little double pump with that front foot. For a small fella like me, it takes a lot of energy. For a big fella like that, it's, it's, it's tremendous. to see more fireworks after that stunning Sam Maxwell fight prior to this but the reality is it was never really going to happen no, and that's what I said like in, in many ways Gorman was on a hiding for nothing here and it's hard and I, I, I bet you even the matchmaker when he, when he had to make this fight thought it's a good left hook there from Gorman probably thought oh no I don't get Kevin Johnson you know, it's a last resort it really is because he's not even a ball over job is he he's not he's a no, good, absolutely he's not out. No, he's a he's a survivor. Oh, oh, that's a good shot. Good right hand. <laughs> and Johnson as ever saying, yeah, okay, but you've not hurt me. But he could fight a bit once, Johnson. We, we forget that. Become very much the the journeyman, the gatekeeper, if you like, nowadays. Yeah, of course, he could fight the big ones, but also Steve Bunce was junior of the year for, for Fitzroy Lodge back in um, the 60s. He's trying to draw him on here, Gorman, a little bit, trying to get him to open up. And a few times he has, he's been a few gaps for Gorman to, to ex expose, but he's too clever, too lazy as well, and too experienced Johnson to, to really get a, put a combination together. Again, you see, he had the opportunity to let the punch go there, Johnson, but thinks better of it. Set the combination again there from Gorman. And another round for Nathan Gorman. Kevin Johnson back into his corner, and here is Nathan Gorman with Ricky Hatton. When you took the weight and he went, you nearly got in, didn't you? Just missed it by your whiskers. That's what I mean. It's there for you that all the time. Just just sustain the attacks. Come on, you know, that attack that you did on the ropes there. Bang, bang, bang. was absolutely full to capacity earlier on. A few of the Leicester fans have left the arena, I think, after uh, CJ Challenger's <laughs> victory earlier. The Maybe they'll be back for Sam Bowen, that's yet to come. The British super featherweight title fight up to this. Every round Barry's given to Nathan Gorman so far, fairly comfortably. Good work again. He, he showed like little flashes of good work here, Gorman. on he's next in action on the 27th of April at Wembley Arena good bit of work there from Gorman 
He's trying to pick those gaps in that little in that defense. There's not many of them. there from Gorman. Just going to try and get his arms inside there now. Just going to dig that left arm in, just try to fish out the right hand there of Johnson. That's good work there from Gorman. Good fast hands and good accuracy as well. So you've got to get his arms inside inside Johnson's arms and just open him up. Open him up and open all those elbows up so you can swerve the body. Johnson not in any sort of trouble though whatsoever. clearly for Nathan Gorman. Well, that's the problem we've got with, with, with Johnson. Because he gives you, he only gives you the, the same look every round, then the rounds become very much sameish. You can only land with a, with, a, with a few shots. I think Gorman's will try to pick his punches the best he can. Well, it's looking very much as though it might be another distance fight for Nathan Gorman, as it was for Daniel Dubois, who's next in action. April 27 at Wembley. to look forward to another big fight another big night of boxing coming up on BT Sport I wonder if that Daniel Dubois Joe Joyce fight for a British oh, title would ten happen, ten who do you reckon wins if that comes off Barry? Oh, it's, it's a hard fight I think, I think, I think, I think Dubois has showed a massive improvement in his last fight I think, I think Joyce for the level he's boxed at goes in as the favourite I think that would be rightly so but I think that also, he's not, he's not a hard target to find, is he, Joyce? That's the thing. You know, he likes to walk through you. He's heavy-handed. I think the power, or the, or maybe the concussive power lands with Dubai, but I think maybe the physical strength might land with, uh, with Joyce. Well, I'm sure a lot of fans would be hearing the news of that, maybe for the first time, and hoping, yeah, let's hope that that fight happens. Meantime, Nathan Gorman continues to progress, and he said this week, I'd fight Daniel Dubois right now. But he's finding Kevin Johnson just as difficult to move as Daniel du du Dubois did. Well, if, well, if Dubois can get it, no, can, can get a British title along his waist, then that, that makes this fight with Gorman even more appealing, of course. Oh, unlucky. Not far off there with that swing of right hand there, Gorman. I, I, again, I would, I would, I jab to that left shoulder and I was just that, just that squaring him up with that right, for that right hand. He got the speed, so he can put, he can just step behind that left jab, and just push him back with it, square him up. And then all the speed's in the right hand. See, when he, when he squares him on the rope like that, that's with Dubai, you gotta just... Dubai, sorry, that's with Gorman, you gotta take the, the different angle. Just step around him to the left or to the right. Preferably to the right. 
She will whip that left hook from a different angle. A little mouse just uh, forming underneath the eye of Kevin Johnson. A bit of bruising. It's a bit, it's a fair to Gorman. He's been more accurate than Dubois was. Well, more variety, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. The Rab was more impressive in it against Kojanu than, than Dorma was. I think Dorma's doing a bit of a better job so far against Johnson. Yeah, Kojanu, Rans van Kojanu went the distance with Nathan Gorman. Taken out in two rounds by Daniel Dubois at the Royal Albert Hall in his last outing. And the crowd loved it. Another very, very one-sided round. All Nathan Gorman. Oh, it's ain't anymore, mate. To be honest with you, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> Looks after himself. Doesn't really, give, doesn't really punch at you. So uh, just keep what you're doing. It will flourish. Block the business. Go through the gears. Come off him. Like I've been saying from now on. Come off the gears. Go again. Sometimes you know, you know what's been said in it. Good, good. That three, four, five jabs. Bing, 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 bing. Bamboozling with that and then have one waiting. Right. Try that again. Right. That's feel good. Yeah. Keep going through them gears. Keep repeating myself because I want you to Pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? It's a nightmare, isn't it? With a big right hand over the top. You can't keep turning out the way you turn it on the way you turn it on. He knows how to look after himself and does he have a thing on the ring hands mouth was Well I don't know what to say. It's just like he is what he is, you know. But he is saying, just try, just try you know, a little variety in your work, do what feels comfortable, and try and and, and might as well go through the gears. He just wants a little bit of bit of spark in the work of the uh, Gorman. Trying to double up on that jab, then with three or four, in fact, no great power on them. That that was precisely what Ricky Hatton was saying. Let's try and bamboozle him. Just try and do a few different things and look good in the process. Kiss there, Johnson, to to the Hallman. The one thing that maybe Gorman has to watch for is that sneak overhand right. Although, having said that, Johnson doesn't seem too committed to throwing it. No, but it would be, be the perfect foil for what he's doing. He's to hide there. Does he do nothing from most of the fight? And all of a sudden, just just throw a bullet in the right hand when the guy just thinks you're not doing anything. I, st I still do think. I still st still think that right, that the jabbing or pushing the, the, the left hand, just squaring him up with that. Just push that left shoulder of, of, of Johnson. Such a strong guy, though, Kevin Johnson. Oh. It does rather uh, underline, though, how much power Anthony Joshua's got that he got him out of there where these two young bucks have been unable to do so. Oh, Joshua gets too much criticism for me. Gets way too much criticism. What was he supposed to do? He's beaten everyone in front of him, and, you know, and, and that's it. And whether you think he's better than this guy or that, Wilder or Fury, is irrelevant. I think you know, he's, he's, he's shown himself to he has to be number one because he's you know, he holds three of the major belts, and, and he's beat and he's beat some good fighters on the way since he's become champion for sure. There's a little reminder from Johnson that he can't be totally taken for granted. A couple of left hooks. Our main event is still to come, the British super featherweight title fights between Sam Bowen defending 
tonight against Jordan McCurry. First defence of that title for Sam Bowen as Nathan Gorman notches up another round. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, it is warm up time for Sam Bowen. Happy to just lay there for a few seconds. Okay. Step off and let your hands go. Okay. Yeah. Three more rounds left. I want you to finish like a train these last three rounds. Yeah. You know what I mean, don't you? You're not holding it, you're You're just happy to just, you know, go. Can he finish yeah, like a train? Oh, Ricky Hatton. Keeping busy Second in the training world round nowadays. Eight. And also putting in a fair stint here, there, and everywhere in the after dinner speeches. He's a very funny man, isn't he? You could learn a lot. <laughs> That's probably the funniest thing you've ever said in your life, John. <laughs> nice. Nice day from Gordon. Trying to look like a million dollars. And, as Ricky said, trying to finish like a train. Right hand clean, can you, with Johnson? Even when, even when he catches it, you know, even when you do land, he just, just takes the sting out of every shot you throw. The only shots he hadn't taken the sting out of is the left hooks. But because he can see him, because your shoulder's turned, you've got to go a little bit wide with that left hook, you can sort of just tense up a little bit and just absorb it a little bit better. And he obviously has a fantastic chin, if you can touch it. Mm, the question is getting past those shoulders, yeah. isn't it? They are huge, aren't they? Absolute bear of a man. Good job, Johnson. Majority of punches, even when they get through to the head, seemingly do no more than make him blink. Yeah. I do worry about the because he gets caught in the back of the head quite a lot, Johnson. I do worry about you know the effect they have in general as he gets older. You know, we really do. Well, at the age of 39, he is coming very much towards the end of the road. Able to move the big American. Another round for Nathan Gorman and another round clearly. Well, we've got some big fights coming up for you in the weeks ahead. And on April the 20th, we're going to be over in the United States of America. Crawford, one to save, oh, one to look forward to. 
and we'll be there bringing all the action for you. Second down, round nine. So into the ninth round. And Nathan Gorman coasting towards another victory. Last time he stopped somebody was Stat Sat uh, Sean Turner in three rounds last June. Good win, that was. Big sexy. Yeah, it was a good win. He was good that night as well, Gorman. Oh, nice. Kamil Sokolovsky and Razvan Kozhenu, his two opponents since then, and now Kevin Johnson. Have you seen the pattern, though? The first guy, I'm not going to say his name, John. He stopped him in the first four, but then he, he closed shop. The, the, last two guys, the last two points he had, they just haven't, haven't been ambitious at all. They've closed shop and they made it difficult to. Well, he did to say, he did say actually this week, Nathan, that if if Kozunu had fought against him like he did against Daniel Dubois, he'd have had more of a chance of doing what Daniel Dubois did to Kozunu. Yeah, I'll put my hand there from Gorman. It's nice. But he may, maybe, maybe, but I think they're just a different fighters. So I think obviously, you know, Gorman's always going to be able to box people more efficiently and also. Dubois is always going to get a, 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 the better show real finish because he has, that, he has you know, he's naturally heavier handed than, than Gorman. And Gorman is naturally fleet and footed and faster hands and probably, you know, looks like you know, more fluent skills. And I'm not saying Gorman can't punch, and I'm not saying Dubai can't box, but they obviously they both can do, do it all, but just that, that's their, their strengths. At last, Johnson tried to step inside and land a big right hand. Easily parried by Gorman. And Gorman's landed much more punches than, than Dubois did against, against Johnson. Touch of gloves between the two of them. It's times almost, so far as Johnson's concerned, almost a kind of like a sparring session. Jab up, jab down, and then just tip the head and throw that right hand over the top. You know? You can't dress it up as something that it's not. It's all pretty predictable. Well, there's one man trying to fight, and yeah. one man Don't not you trying to fight. yourself, he's knackered as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, we've got the gears here. Okay? You okay, yeah? That's what's going on, man. Yeah, uh, in a shift. Hatton putting it as Ricky Hatton does as we move into the last round. The thing is, though, because Ricky would literally fight from bell to bell for every round, wouldn't he? We would, so he probably can understand why, well, why wouldn't you just want to keep throwing punches and keep fighting and taking a rest? How dare you? Yeah, he said at the beginning of that uh, little lecture, he's knackered as well. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Yeah. But he's done all he's going to do, um, Gorman. He's, 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 they always, they always say it takes two to make a fight, and, and that's you know, and this is a perfect example of that. And we've seen it time and time again with, with Johnson. I, and I'll say what I said earlier on, he's on a high into nothing here, because the guy was never going to be competitive, he was always going to close up shop. Sounds 
so difficult to land a clean shot on Kevin Johnson. He tried some different variety in his work, Gorman. You know, he's been trying to move on the target, some of the left touch and got into play. You just can't hit and clean with that right hand, and that's what that's what I think you need to just to scramble the senses for a follow-up attack. Jeers around the auditorium. Just a minute to go. Johnson should be two minute round, shouldn't it? I wonder if Johnson will just give a little uh, little bit of a showing in this last 30 seconds of what once was. I don't think so. The few times he's tried it, he's had a good about four shots, hasn't he? But which is more what you usually see from him, but the few times he tried to be a, a remotely ambitious, and then Gorman sort of be able to land a few shots. So I think he's that's it, that's good. That's that's more like it. Now there's Johnson firing back. Shots. So you know it's a good shot because then, then Johnson will throw a throw punch back. No. Big Kevin awakened. Oh. And at last, after the better part of 10 rounds of soporific action, a few punches aimed in the closing seconds of the fight. And of course, Gorman will have won every round. Every second of every round, let's be honest, and, and, it, and it was predictable. We knew that was that, that was going to be the case. Once the, the fights fell out the bed and Johnson came in as a replacement, we knew what, what we were going, what, we, what was going to happen. And and, and, and true to form, it, it was what it was. And you know, at least this last little bit was the most exciting part of the fight, to be honest. Johnson, you know, Gorman getting a bit of success, and Johnson fighting back at last, but leaving gaps in the defence. Then, so then he, you know, he, he won't do that more than once in a round and once in a fight because he didn't want to get hit clean. And he, had, and he has a real good knack with those big bear-like shoulders just to block most of those clean shots. But he gets a workout, Gorman, you know, and he, and he gets another win, and he, and he gets, more importantly, he gets out, he gets out, he gets the payday, and he moves on to a bigger fight. That's, that's the thing. Yep, it is the victory, it's the W, that's what matters. But Kevin Johnson, I'm afraid, once again, has come here and done little more than just survive. Do you know what, John? It's not fair, because... It don't, matter, it don't matter if you're good, if you're rubbish, you're rubbish. If you're trying and you're just not a, not a very good fighter, or you're out of your league and you get blasted out, or you get stopped and you get totally unboxed, and people criticise you for that, you go, well, I tried, and you don't try. Then you deserve the criticism, because you haven't tried. And, you know, and, and, that's just, and that's where, you know, it's not fair on the people pay to watch this. Gorman's trying. He's on a hiding to nothing, as you've said, isn't he? Of course he, he is, yeah. You know, anyway, like... let's get into the ring. The fighters aren't actually sent to ring yet, but we'll go in there anyway and get confirmation of the result now from Thomas Triver. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, our referee in charge, Ian John Lewis, scores this contest 100 to 90 in favour of your winner... And still undefeated, Nathan Gorman. Ten rounds out of ten, and a sporting congratulations from Kevin Johnson. Nathan Gorman remains undefeated. Thank you, John. I don't wish to misconstrue what Barry said, Steve, but I think I heard Barry suggesting that he wasn't trying very hard, Johnson. Yeah, listen, I'm a massive Kevin Johnson fan. I've been a fan for a lot of years. He let himself down a bit against Dubois, and I think tonight he could have done more. We saw flashes of it, just briefest flashes, and Barry's absolutely right. There is a burden when you take on a task. I know it was late, there's a slight asterisk attached. 
He could have done a little bit more. Perhaps he knew that he didn't have 10 rounds of doing anything in the tank. And I'd like to see Kevin Johnson. I don't mind if he carries on fighting. I'm just not so keen for him to come back here and fight our fighters. I really am not. Kevin, you've served us well. Thanks, son. Does it exonerate Gorman to any degree? As Steve says, you know, the change of opponent number three here. It's a very difficult, di difficult task, uh, physically and mentally. Mentally, obviously, the change of opponent twice, and Kevin Johnson's come in. Physically, you're in against a guy who's just an expert at surviving. Yeah. The way he boxes on that back foot, he brings his left shoulder around. You can't nail him with the right hand. He sits on the ropes. He's very too hard, hard to hit with the left up also. And he, like I said before, when, when Tyson Fury is here, he slows the pace down to his level. That's what Nathan should be taking away from this. He could have upped it here and there, Nathan. But in the back of his mind, he's always probably thinking, if I burn out, then this kid will be there at the very, very end. And, and Nathan did you know, mix it up. Sorry for yeah, he did. Nathan he did. Did. He did. Nathan mixed it up. Nathan mixed it up a little yeah. bit. You know, let's not be too harsh. But he's very up. good at slowing it down, and so you, you've got to give him credit for that. But it's another learning fight for Nathan Gorman. Bigger fights are to come, most certainly. Well, let's find out if he is pleased or frustrated. Would you? All right. Well, Nathan, a bit of a stamina test, but you had a few good goes in there. Yeah, uh, were there moments where you thought a stoppage was in sight? Yeah, definitely. You know, Kevin, he's a very uh, experienced fighter. He knows how to survive. He knows. He knows the ring. And when I felt like I would open up, he'd clench me or he'd do something, do something back to me. I think yeah, you're still in the fight. Very, very experienced fighter. Obviously, such a solid chin there. Um, must be tiring though. What can you gain and what can you learn from a fight like this? Rounds. You know, just got a good ten rounds in there with a seasoned uh, veteran who's been in with uh, with them all. You know, look at look at his resume. He's never been stopped by world champion. So I'm quite happy. You know, a 22 year old to get good rounds in with Kevin. Okay, now we know that you won that fight with Daniel Dubois. Obviously, the British board has just ordered him to fight Joe Joyce. What's your feelings around that? Truthfully, you know, Daniel's got his own thing to do. He knows exactly where I'm at, where I'm at you know. I've got my own path to pursue. I'm going to sit down with Frank and Rick after this and uh, see, see where we can go from here. Were you disappointed with that news? Um, not really, no. Okay, and obviously, there's a good shot that you'll face Dubois at the end of the year, but what's going to keep you busy till then? Obviously, I'm going to, like I said before, I'm going to sit down with uh, Frank and Rick after this fight and see where we go from here. Okay, anyone in your sights at all, do you think? Uh, no, not really. No, I'm going to have a bit of time off after this. I have two weeks off from my family. Like I said before, we'll sit down with everyone and we'll see where we can go. Excellent. Two weeks off, that sounds nice. Well, you deserve it.